We all need to eat. It's part of our survival. But how do you keep food on the table and in the fridge as the cost of groceries keep on going up? My parents were able to feed a family of five on a limited budget. Trevor, my husband's family, was a family of seven and once again had a limited budget. Here are six things that our families did to help feed ourselves and keep everybody as healthy as possible. And I do them as well in our family today. The first is meat. It's one of the most expensive portions of the meal. On some TV shows, it's all about the meat and only about the meat. When something is more expensive and is sold by weight, it is important that the serving size is monitored and stretched. For example, a chicken breast can be served as a complete breast, or it can be sliced, stretching how far it goes. Different cuts and types of meat can be used for similar purposes. If they're interchangeable, use the least expensive. I make a chicken and rice broccoli casserole, which I will post the link there, called Chicken by Van. The recipe calls for chicken breasts, but we often buy a full roasted chicken and use the meat from all the parts of the bird, not just the breast in this recipe. Same with beef. Where can you substitute hamburger in the meal instead of a more expensive cut? The second idea is making a weekly plan. Most large grocery stores have weekly flyers that are available online. Spend some time reviewing the sale items that you would normally use and plan meals using those sale items. When there are large sales on frequently used items, stock up and put some of the extras in the pantry or in the freezer. I have a favorite app called Flip that I have on my phone that on that app, it shows the flyers. Since we don't get them in the mail and I've chosen not to get the flyers via mail, I can access it on my phone under the Flip app. And it shows all the grocery flyers for the week and I can go through and check off the items that are on sale and make myself a grocery list using that app. It is a time saver. I love it. The third thing is to shop with a list and then stick to it. Make a list well before you enter the grocery store, ideally with items that you plan to use in your meals for the upcoming weeks. You are going to go in the store with a purpose to get the needed groceries and leave once you have made the purchases. Do not go shopping as a social event if you want to save money. You will end up buying items not on your list that you may never need or want. Also, try to avoid shopping when you're hungry. We all know that our food wants go way up when it's supper time and it makes it harder to resist buying items that were not previously planned. Number four is buy in bulk. Often stores have case lot sales, BOGO, buy one get one sales, or if you buy an extra large size, the cost per unit decreases. Buying items that way can lead to substantial savings. If able, buy large packages. Take it home, divide it up by using smaller bags or containers to store it in normal meal-sized portions. These purchases may need to be frozen. Having extras on hand will assist you in your meal planning going forward. Use store promotions. As the store may have a promotion where the first Tuesday of every month is sent off purchases over $50. We used to call this Tightwad Tuesday. They also might have a customer appreciation day with extra sales. Some have double coupon days where you can save twice the face value of a coupon. But it's important that you buy products that you would normally use. Otherwise, you could have a stack of items that you bought at a good price, but nobody in your home utilizes. There are also senior discount days. There's sometimes product samples or discontinued products that can all help reduce your grocery bill. Make sure you pay attention to the expiry dates on some of those great sales because sometimes the reason why the item is on sale is because it's going to expire soon. And number six, buy the house brand. Many stores sell private label products that's comparable in quality, but price cheaper. Given the choice, purchase these products and save some money. There are other ideas that can save you money when you go grocery shopping. You will find the biggest savings by planning ahead and sticking to your list. Let me know in the comments what else you may do to save money 
when you go grocery shopping or any successes you've seen in making changes on how to save money when you go grocery shopping. Thanks for joining me this week. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am loving joining this community and the support that you guys give me each week by watching these videos. If you enjoyed it, share it with somebody new and hopefully they can learn some of the ways that they can also save money. Thanks again and have a great week.